Hi, my name is Sarah Gelser. I'm a state senator from the state of Oregon. I'm so sorry that I cannot join you live today as we're in legislative session and I'm chairing a hearing uh, as you are all meeting. But I am so glad that people from all across the country are taking time to stop, think, and gather and remember the life of Cornelius Frederick and to also look to memorialize his legacy and his life by doing the work that is necessary to keep kids safe. Sadly, what happened to Cornelius wasn't unusual. Kids experienced the types of restraints that Cornelius experienced a year ago every day in programs in almost every state in this country. Unfortunately, when kids tell us that this is happening to them, we often don't believe them or our systems say that their behavior was such that that was the only answer to keep them safe. What the world saw through the case of Cornelius Frederick is that often those dangerous behaviors aren't dangerous at all. They are just the behaviors of kids. Cornelius threw a piece of bread. When I watch the video, and I've watched it far too many times, one of the things that breaks my heart is to see the smile and the smirk on Cornelius's face before he tosses that bread for the very last time. He couldn't possibly have known what would happen next. It makes me worried for all of the children who are still there, who still live in facilities without adequate training, without adequate staffing, and without adequate regulation and oversight as it relates to appropriate support for children. We can make this better. We can make this better by believing youth when they tell us what's happening. We can make this better by investing in licensing and in oversight in every program across the country. We can make this better by investing in training and wages for staff that work with kids. And we can make this better by investing in community-based supports and reducing the frequency with which kids are sent away from their communities, their homes, and those that know them. There's nothing that we can do to bring Cornelius back. And there's nothing that we can do to undo the trauma of the thousands of youth who've experienced restraints like we saw with Cornelius, who have witnessed restraints like the children in that cafeteria witnessed that day. Nothing can undo that. But what we can do moving forward is collectively lift our voices to demand change and to remind everyone that these are children. They are youth who deserve care and compassion and support. And that does not involve being tackled to the ground, having your breathing stopped because you threw a piece of bread. Thank you all for taking the time to be here today. And I hope that we will all do everything that's within the power of each of us to um, honor Cornelius's memory and to make our residential programs, our day treatment programs, our schools all safer for kids by really addressing the inappropriate use of physical restraint and seclusion. Thank you so much for including me.